Now we can solve example 1.9 on this one. Example 1.9 is basically telling us that let me recite this example. Let t is equal to x y squared and take point A to be the origin 0 0 and B be the point 2 1 0. Check the fundamental theorem for gradients. So the fundamental theorem of gradients we will have to verify for a function, scalar function which is t equals x y squared and this is running from point A is basically the origin which is 0 0 0 and point B is the point which is 2 1 0 means x is 2 y is 1 and then this is the z is 0 and both so it is a planar geometry and we don't have any z axis here involved so we will skip that one so let me plot this function graphically and let's say this is our y axis and this is our x axis so this is x and y now the function is such that we are having this point is our point A which is 0, 0 point and then let's say this is 1 and this is 2 here then the same one we will mark here means exactly the same distance so it is here it means the point is somewhere here so let me draw this one so on x-axis we are going 1 and 2 while on the y-axis we are just going point 1. So this is our function. Now what about our dl element in that one? Our dl element will be... Okay. So dl element will be a two-dimensional and this is dl which is equal to dx in x unit vector in dy in y unit vector while the gradient of t will be the gradient of t which is gradient t and this will be equal I will write only the two components so this is curly t over curly x and x unit vector and plus curly t over curly y in y unit vector. Now what about the gradient of t? So the gradient of t is equal to the gradient of t dot dl is equal find curly t by curly x. So differentiate it with respect to x and it will be y squared. Then multiply with this one. So we are having y square dx and then plus curly t by curly y. So it is 2xy when we differentiate with respect to y. So it is 2xy and dy here. Now we will find the value of gradient of t along path 1. This is let's say path 1 here and this is two points. So the 1 and 2 are actually our, this is our path 1 and this is the path 3. So let me find them individually, path 1, 2 and 3 we are reaching point B and point B is 2, 1 is 1, 2 on x-axis, 1 on y-axis and 0 is the z-axis. So now along path 1, I know that along path 1, we are having the variation only along x-axis 
and on this path y is equal to 0 while x value is varying so I can write that y is equal to 0 along this path and dl is equal when y is 0 so dy is 0 and dl will be just d x in x unit vector and now I will put here this thing is gradient of t dot dl is this one we are having y equal to 0 and dx here is x and then plus 2xy but y is 0 so this means that gradient of t that gradient of t along path 1 gradient of t dot dl is equal to 0 because we are having y equal to 0 and this means dy is also 0 so this integral will come out to be 0 here and I can calculate along path 2 along path 2 I know that this is equal along part 2 what is the value along part 2 along part 2 x is equal to 2 while we know that dl is equal to dx and dy this one but is x is not changing along this one so it means dx is equal to 0 but and if I take the differential of this one, it's a constant. So its differential will be equal to 0. Means dx is equal to 0 here. And we dl element is having only dy along y-axis. Now in this situation, calculate this one. We will have dx equal to 0. So this one is gone to 0. And here we will have 2 and x is equal to 2 so 2 2's are 4 and y dy so the integral the integral from along part 2 is that 4 4 y dy now we know the limits as well that what are those limits so I can write the limits as well along the y-axis it starts from 0 to 1 so from 0 to 1 4 y d y here and I can calculate this one it will become 4 y square by 2 so 2 2 will uh, 2 will simplify with this one becomes 2 here and then y square and the limits are 1 0 so it means that this thing is equal to 2y square from 0 to 1 and this is equal to 2. Now along part 1 and part 2 I will add up and I will get that the path 1 and path 2 the value comes out to be 0 plus 2 and this is equal to 2 here. And now what if I find the gradient t dot dl and the value of t at point b and point a means I apply this theorem. Then what will be the result? So to apply this theorem let me write this one is the gradient of t from point A to B gradient T dot DL is equal to the value of T at B minus the value of T at A and the value of T at B so the value of T T is equal to X Y squared T is X Y squared and the value here we are having at x is equal at point b here at point b here we are having the value equal 
to 2 for x, 1 for y. So this is a 2 and 1 here, minus the value of x, y square at point A, and point A is 0, 0 here. So I can subtract this one, I can calculate this one, and this is equal to write 2 here and then 1 here. So it will become 2 times 1 sub 2 minus 0, 0 for both, so 2 minus 0, and this is equal to 2 here. We got 2 here, we got 2 here from applying the fundamental theorem for gradients and now we can even solve the third part as well because the third part if the result of the third part will also come out to be the same two then it means that this is a path independent integral either you go this way or you go that way it the results come out to be the same so for the part three i know few things so here, let me solve the path 3 here. For path 3, I know that, what about this one? For path 3, I know that when it is varying, y is varying, the total is 1, x has gone to 2. So it means y is equal to half of x. Because when y is 1, then x is 2. So this is our uh, equation. And then what about dy? dy will be equal to half dx. You take the differential of this one and this will be half dx. So we have uh, found this one and now we also know that the dx and the dy are both existing here. So I will have to calculate here this integral and this integral will give me the result is gradient of t from a to b then y square dx and 2xy dy so I can convert this one either to x or to y and then can find the result. So it's better to have this thing uh, converted into x and then we will apply the limits of x. So here we know that dy here, dy here y square so y square y is equal to half x so it will become 1 over 4 and x square and then dx so our for part 3 for part 3 it will be let me write this one for part 3 we have this thing the gradient from a to b the gradient of t dot d l is equal to what about this one so i can write gradient of t let me convert this one into uh, integral from a to b here and then what about gradient t dot d l it is y square dx. So y square is equal to 1 over 4 x square. 1 over 4 and x square dx will come as it is. And then there 2x plus 2x and y is equal to half x. So this is half x and dy is equal to half dx and this is half dx here and I know that it can be simplified the 2 is gone with 2 here and here it is x square by 2 dx here x square by 4 dx and this can be simplified to 3 over 4 and d 
x and x square here and integral from point A to point B here and now I can calculate the value of the integral is I have converted is I have converted this into x only so I will write this one in the form of x only and I know that x is running means variation is only along x axis now so I can write that this is 3 over 4 and x square dx while x is running from 0 to 2 and this comes out to be exactly equals to 2 here because this will become x cubed by 3 so 3 3 will cancel and then x cube put value 2 so it will come out to be 2 power 3 and it will be 8 8 by 4 will make it equal to 2 so we got for path 3 as well equal to 2 it means whatever path you follow the result will come out to be the same so the corollary 2 the corollary 1 here is then uh, verified that this integral is independent of the path here and this is the fundamental theorem for gradients I hope uh, you will uh, practice on problem 1.3.1 this problem problem 1.3.1 you should practice on this one uh, to solve this one in case you are not able to solve this one then I will suggest not to go to the solution manual but to repeat this practice again means to repeat this example again and hopefully in the second attempt you will be able uh, to solve this one if not in the first attempt